I've been going to Target a lot lately and some other random places, so um, I was tweeting about it and someone wanted to see a haul, so that's why I'm here. So I don't even know where to start. I've like been to so many places. I guess we'll start with like the boring stuff. I went to Staples the other day and got some pretty stuff I thought I'd show you guys. First, these are just some like blue plastic baskets from their dollar section just so I can like organize my makeup drawer because that place is scary right now. Got some binders. This one's really pretty. Has a big flower on it. What does this say? Whimsical flower designed by Jackie. Jacqueline Savage McPhee. Woohoo! And it stripes on the back and on the inside. Ugh. It's super pretty and has more flowers on it. But that didn't fit all the stuff I needed to put in it. So I had to go back and get another binder which looks like this and already has all my crap in it. And then you open it up and it's freaking neon green and polka dotted. So that's my staple stuff. And then I went to Macy's for a little tiny bit. And first I went to the Mac counter and I just got one thing. And that is an eyeshadow in Woodwinked. Does this focus? I don't know. Can you, you, you know how Woodwinked is spelled. So this looks like exactly the same as all my other Mac eyeshadows. Even though it's not, but in like the box it does. So. Yay for wood winked. And then I went to the Clinique counter because all the moisturizers I have right now are being crap and don't work with my face or my foundation. They make it all flaky. So I was talking to the lady there and she was trying out stuff on me. And I ended up getting the new Clinique Moisture Surge item. I have like every item in this line. Because I have the spray, I have the first one, I have the tinted moisturizer. Yeah, I've, I've got all the bases covered, but this is a Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator, and it comes in this nice green box, and it's more heavy duty than the other one, and it comes with this nice little booklet, and this is what it looks like. It has like a nice frosted container, and the other stuff is white. Oh, I hate these little discs that always pop out at you. So this cream is white and much more thick and less greasy and works better for dry spots than the other one. I have it like all over me now. Yeah, this stuff is really nice. It was pretty expensive. It was like 30 something, but you barely have to use any otherwise your face gets sticky and my mom and I have really been loving this stuff for the past few days, so it totally rocks. And our friend that worked at the Clinique counter, she stopped working there a while ago, so we have a new Clinique counter friend and she gave us little makeup samples. So this, the one she gave me is the Perfectly Real Foundation. I'm in shade one. She tried two on me and she was like, ow, that looks orange. And then my mom got like the Laser Wear Repair Focus Foundation and it looks so good on her. I love that stuff. So you get these cute little Clinique jars with your samples in them. Next we went to this beauty supply place in the mall. And I don't know if it's like a chain or anything, but it totally should be because... It was just such an awesome, awesome place. So my mom was talking to all the hairstylists there because her hair is falling out and she wanted to know like how to take care of it. So we got stuff for that at Target later, which you'll see. But while she was doing that, I was shopping around at all of their sale nail polishes. So I found this OPI I'd really been wanting. I saw it in a video and it's like my Do You Lay Like It, except a little more neon and pink. And it's called Lucky Lucky Lavender. It is so pretty. I think this is going to be such a cute, like, winter to spring transitional color. And even in the summer, it'll look great. So I'm really excited for this. And this nail polish was only $6. Like, that place has the best prices on nail polish. And then I got another OPI from the Nicki Minaj collection. And this is Metallic for Life. For Life. Yeah. So. Do, do, do. Can you see that? It's just a really pretty black, sparkly, silverish color. And then all their Essie nail polishes were also $6, but I found a bargain bin where some were four. So I got this Essie color. I actually picked this out for my mom because she loves like mauve colors. And in real life, it doesn't look like as red. It's more like purpley, kind of like rhubarb color. It's not as bright red as it shows up, but I'm actually wearing it right now and it looks super bright red when you put it on. So that's kind of annoying. I kind of like the purpley undertones and this is called Very Cranberry. I should probably stop holding labels up right guys. You probably can't read them. But so yeah, I thought that was such a steal. I'm definitely going back there for all my brand name nail polishes. Finally, we have arrived at the Target stuff. So I've actually made two trips there recently and the first one was last weekend and I got really car sick on the way there. 
So my mom had to push me around in the cart and we went there because the Jason Wu designer collection came out at Target and it's only out for a limited time. So we were actually looking for stuff for my friend, but we couldn't find it. So we had to order some stuff online. I ordered a shirt. It's so cute. And I don't know if I'm going to like film when it comes because it's not going to come for like half a week. The first time I went, I was looking for a very specific thing. I wanted a duo fiber brush. And since Elf didn't have theirs in stock at that Target, I got a Sonia Kashuk one. I love her eyeshadow brush, so I wanted to try this. And I've been using this. I used it today for my foundation. And it works so wonderfully. I love this stuff. I just washed it, so it might look a little dirty. But it's, it's nice and firm. It's a little more flimsy than like I was expecting. But this thing is so much fun. I feel like such like a makeup artist when I'm buffing stuff in with it. And it just came in this package. This one is called the Small Duo Fiber Multi-Purpose Brush. And this one was like, um, like $12 or something. And then they have a bigger one that's like $13 or $14. That's called like the highlighter brush. But I thought that'd be way too big because mostly I want this for cream blush, but I use it for foundation also. So I love this thing so much. Definitely worth paying more money than I was expecting to pay. And then this, I just got an e.l.f. lipstick. Um, this is in the shade Classy, and it's supposed to be a dupe for Max Angel lipstick, even though it looks very berry. And normally all stuff is a dollar, but this was on sale for 70 cents, so... Got a lot of good deals that day. Also, the brush I just showed was on like sale for like another 30 cents or something. Everything was 30 cents off. And then this, I'm so excited to show you guys. I wasn't going to put this, I wasn't going to do a haul for Target until someone asked. So I'm really excited to show you guys. This is a Maybelline New York Color Studio. No, color. <laughs> this is a Maybelline New York Color Tattoo by iStudio. And this is in Tough as Taupe. So this is like one of those new drugstore products that everyone's asking about. So I can't wait to use it. And they have a gold color that I wanted to see in person, but it was sold out where I went. So um, I think this taupe color is really pretty and gray. And it'll go great with my colors in the Naked 2. Because that's why I bought it to be like a base for those. So I thought that's really pretty and I love grays. And then this is from their dollar section as well. I just got this big like pink bin. My mom was like, you should get this. It matches your room. So I don't know what I'm doing with this, but I'm going to put stuff in it. And then on my second run to Target, we got a bunch of random stuff. Hershey's Kisses. That was upside down. I think these are like raspberry. No, they had raspberry ones, but these are in milk chocolate. Hello Kitty Band-Aids. Aren't those freaking cute? I've been wanting these for so long. A Shea Moisture Organic Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask for dry damaged hair. Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner. This stuff was really inexpensive. It was like under $3, but I think it's because the packaging is really stupid. You lift the sticker and then there's the hole. There's no like cap to put over it. So I don't get this stuff, but I'm hoping it works for like my mom's breaking hair. And then I got some more makeup things. How could I resist e.l.f.? I mean, I drove all the way out there and that's like the only place I can find it. So this I've been looking for for so long. It's never in stock at Target. So I just picked it up, threw it in the cart second I saw it. This is the e.l.f. eyelid primer. So everyone always asks me, where can I get a cheap primer that's not the primer potion? And I'm like, oh, well, e.l.f. has one, but I can never find it. So this is like their regular line one in sheer. And it looks the same color as the primer potion. So this stuff, I was so excited for. And then this is from their studio line. I think this is like a really new product because I've never seen it. Didn't even know it existed. So excited because now I don't have to buy the Urban Decay one of this either. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set with aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E in clear. So it has really nice sleek black packaging. And this is like a dupe, I think, for like the all-nighter spray. So it makes your makeup stay. And I've been wearing like legit foundation recently instead of like powder foundation. So I'm excited because now I actually need this stuff. And this next thing is like it's going to blow you guys away. I'm so early in buying this. This is like the main reason. I did this haul. This is so cute. I was just walking to the register, minding my own business, buying my $4 of e.l.f. products, and then I saw this. Aww. Yes, I bought a bathing suit in February. Normally, I wear bikinis, but I really like this one-piece trend where it's, like, cut out, and it also has, like, no back at all. It's, like, 
really low and that's kind of cool and then it has this nice hook in the back which I love so that you can take it on and off yourself because when there's ties in the back I'm just like retarded with strings and it doesn't work and it also has a little strap that you can put like around your neck so it's not completely topless so I think this is so cute it has such a nice floral pattern Target has like the best bathing suits so I'm so excited for this I want to go on a cruise now so I can wear it I haven't tried it on it looks kind of huge so I hope it fits because I'm in love with this thing. plus it was only $30 so that's way better than paying like 20 for a top and then 20 for a bottom and then on the way home we also went to CVS because I had cold sores so we got a Breva and Burt's Bees medicated chapstick with eucalyptus and this stuff works I don't have them anymore you go guys oh I just dropped it whoops and then for Valentine's Day, my mommy got me a Russell Stover chocolate marshmallow heart. These are so good. Like, so good. That is the end of my multi-store haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I can't wait to try my new elf makeup and hair stuff and my bathing suit and, like, eat all my chocolate. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. And leave your comments down below so we can chit-chat. Adios. And I can't forget my new friend. Oh, he keeps falling off, but he like sticks to my hand. So I had to go to the hospital the other day for a test because people just love to poke me and watch me breathe into tubes and stuff. So I took a survey and they gave me my friend who laughs. 